Hello everybody. I recently made a video on the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the Model B Plus. And uh, basically I've gotten some questions about uh, the wireless mouse. Some people are, uh, seem to be having a problem with the wireless mouse uh, being a little sloggy, being slow. And uh, I didn't have that problem with my original wireless mouse, but I, I got a second wireless mouse kicking around, so I plugged it in. And I did have the same problem. It, it basically, well, I'll show you what the problem is, but uh, it, it feels like, uh, you, you know, you're using a mouse uh, that's 20 times slower than it should be. And uh, there's an easy fix for it, so I'll show you that fix in this video right now. Okay, I'm going to show you how laggy the mouse is here. Um, just click on something, you can see that it, that it works, but look how far I have to go just to scroll down to the bottom of the menu here. And I say, yeah, let's go to shutdown and have to far, I have to drag and how slow this thing moves. You know, see that, you know, it's just laggy. It's hard to control. It feels like, feels like one of the old roller mice when the ball got dirty. That's what it feels like. So, uh, I'm going to do the fix here. So close this off if I can get the mouse to do so. There we go. All right. So. What we're going to do here to fix this is to open up the, the uh, terminal window here and put a command in. And I'll show you where I found this, I w the fix for this. I'll put this in the uh, uh, video description, the, the link to the fix in the video description as well. So you guys can look at that and maybe copy and paste from there if you wish. Uh, open up the web browser here. And you can see it's just torture. It's torture using this mouse like this. Um, but we'll fix it here in a second and it seems to be darn it. See that seems to be a common issue with wireless mice. Uh, I've, I've got two and one of them exhibits the problem and the other one does not. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get this full screen here. Hard. Right, there we go. So I've got the fix here. I'll put the link to this fix, which is, uh, we need to add this little line here. Uh, USB HID dot M O U S E pull equals zero to a line and the, the line we need to add it to. I'm just going to hit copy on that copy and we need to add that line to the uh, forward slash boot forward slash CMD command line text. So we're going to do that. Uh, we've got the just torture. Oh, it's hard to use this mouse like this. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, we're, we've got the command line open. We, you, we can't really use the mouse in here. I should really click out of there somehow. I don't know how to do that. Maybe escape. Nope. Anyways, here we're going to go and edit that, uh, boot command line text file. So what we need to do here is just type in sudo and then though they don't show you how to do this. They assume you know how to do this. Uh, sudo and then nano for the uh, editing program. So sudo means you're going to be running as a super user. Nano is the editing program. And then uh, next we're going to choose the file. We're going to e edit, which is boot forward slash CMD line dot txt and I'll put like I said I'll put all this into the video description as well but that's basically what you need to do there then you're going to hit enter and again don't try using the mouse on this because it's a command line and it, it just doesn't work well uh, you can see that this goes all the way across so go to the use your your arrow keys on your keyboard go to the very end of the file hit a space and then type in that USB HID, or you could just, I've already copied it from uh, the actual uh, browser. So here to, to copy into the uh, uh, command line, all you, all you need to do is uh, hit uh, Control, Shift, and V. And that copies, that's, it's the same as Control V, but in the command line, you need to hit Control, Shift, and V. And you get the same thing. But what you're going to type in there with a space is USB HID dot M O U S E P O L L equals zero. So mouse pole equals zero. So again, I'll put this stuff in the video description for you guys. So it's easier. And here we're just going to hit control X, which will get us uh, uh, an exit out of this file. 
and it knows it's been changed. It says, do you want to save it or do you want to discard it? If you say no, the N, it will discard it. If you say yes, it'll keep it and save it. So we're going to say yes here. Then it'll say, you know, file name to write. And here you just hit enter and it'll copy right over the old file, adding this uh, little command to it. There we go. Now here, all you need to do is type in reboot. So I'll reboot here. And when you reboot, the mouse should work perfectly. And I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, we've rebooted with the new command and look at that. That mouse is actually performing beautifully. Look how I, don't, I hardly have to move it at all. And you can see how it's moving so quickly there. You know, perfect. It's, it's actually responding as it should be. So that's how you f fix the slow mouse issue in your Raspberry Pi Raspbian install. Uh, it may work for other installations or other uh, OS, uh, uh, sorry, Linux flavors or Raspberry flavors, but this is for the Raspbian. And as you can see, my mouse is now back to normal and everything's good. So if you have a slow, sloggy mouse issue uh, on a wireless mouse, that's a fix for it. All right, that's my video on the slow mouse on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Uh, the fix is in the video description below, as well as all the uh, links to all the stuff you need to know, including the URL where I found the fix as well. Also, the, all the hardware that I used on this video will be down there in the video description as well. If you have comments or if you have some suggestions or questions, please feel free to put it in the comments section below. I check them regularly. I answer them quite frequently so I, I keep an eye on this stuff so that's it for that stuff if you want to know any of the hardware that i use in this video again in the video description below all right if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a huge favor click on the like button on the bottom right hand corner and give me a huge thumbs up uh, it helps my video helps my channel and i greatly appreciate it also up here on the top uh, corner you'll see a picture of me that is a subscription link if you click on that you'll be subscribed to my channel and as a part of that process of subscribing to my channel you'll get what they say what they call it is the bell icon and the bell icon is the notification bell if you click on that as well you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and then you can watch it at your own leisure all right once again and just like always I want to thank you all for watching and for supporting me